Yeah, what's going on guys? New review today. Um, I thought I'd do a new review um, on a new Nerf gun since there hasn't been any um, sort of interesting ones really that much recently apart from the new series, the Ultra series. I'm hoping Nerf will bring out some more interesting ones. Um, however, there are some other companies that are coming out with some good ones so you check out my channel for some other reviews as well. I only review interested Nerf guns, none of the shit ones. Um, just because uh, it's more of a, a, a lad's toy type of thing if it's good, um, if it's not then it's more of a kid's toy so it's sort of, they fall, fall between that line so um, these are the, a new dart, a new type of dart style they don't, apparently they don't fit in any of the other Nerf guns I'm going to compare it with some of the darts as well just to see because um, we all have those extra darts we always lose them all, you know, because messing around and stuff with them so, you know, it's one of them things, it's a lad's toy so, um yeah, so I thought I'd review it because it's one of the more higher, um, high expensive ones or higher branded ones. I don't know what you'd word it. Just more one of the better quality ones, I'd, I'd say. Um, using the standard rainbow knife. You can get these online. You can get these pretty much anywhere now. Um, they're not no, they're, they aren't no fucking zombie knife. Nothing crazy. You can get these at any. You can get these at uh, gift shops even. You just gotta be eighteen. You can get these anywhere. Um, so check these out if you, if you like this style you can get this anywhere so um, it's a single blade and it's uh, just a fold out knife so uh, yeah I thought I'd show you guys that because a lot of you guys always ask about the, the knives I use in the videos so so the packaging seems to be different I have like a, a tray in here and then I folded this sort of like flap tray out I don't really the that we have another tray, looks like the ammo, looks like you have to put the drum together. Just uh, for a quick note as well, I bought the extra ammo uh, just in case. Not really just in case. But I won't talk about that. Nothing else in the box, but the darts will come in a bag. And the gun was like held in place with cardboard. So here's the, the gun. Feels really nice in the hand. People keep saying about how awkward the uh, grips are on these uh, and this series. This actually feels really, really nice. Doesn't feel horrible. Um, I've got quite large hands and my hands fit in there very nicely. There's still a lot of room. Um, there's lot. There's like room at the bottom of the handle, handle still. Look, I can put my whole hand here. So that just shows. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It feels really smooth and snug, and also the sights line up. That's the first. I think that's literally a first. You see the uh, this top. Um, this would be a jam door, I'm guessing. It only opens up midway because of this rear sight. So that's something. At least we've got some sort of sight. The uh, jam door does not feel very comfortable to close. As you can see, it feels very weird and cheap. So um, as you can see, they paint one side and don't paint the other so uh, that just shows the quality of Nerf I just want to point out that the X-Shot series I've got a load of Nerf guns behind me I was going to get it but oh, that's one of the reviews I want you to see it's paint on both sides and I hate how Nerf don't paint both sides so you've got this cool design on one side nothing on the other dark trays on both sides um, they literally do it so when you're aiming outwards you can see it but aiming like that looking at it you can't see it you have to turn it um, I'm left-handed so I can actually see it just by looking at it like this so yeah I don't I don't understand why they keep doing this and also they're separate pieces and they make tapping noises um, no attachment point obviously because it doesn't use it's not the end strike darts um, does it come with instructions? Is this no, I come in here, I'm guessing. I was going to say, is this the only nerf gun that don't come with instructions? I just wanted to see how you slot the tray on. You can always skip ahead of this, but I want to see myself. And also, there's like a big, there's quite a few things in here, so I want to have a look. Warning, don't shoot yourself in the face. In a hundred different languages. Probably don't throw batteries in a bin or something like that, this one. But 
yeah, this looks like some either someone different has taken over the company or um, it's a it's a different company that made this. I'm gonna if that is the case. Um, there's one time snap they snap in, and it looks like there it is. Yeah, the battery door is on the bottom, and it uses fucking. C batteries. Literally, no other no other no other thing uses these. Like nothing uses these anymore, apart from a fire alarm. I thought the battery cover was going to be this front grip, but it has no end strike attachment. I saw it because of that on the box. I thought they would have put they could have put a uh, attachment point on here. They just left it as a grip instead. Um, so let's try and put these one time pieces in. See, I don't know why they didn't just do this or for you already, because this is just adding complication. I don't even, yeah. Just get things muddled, muddled up easily, and then. Looks like they slide in. I'm trying to do that. Just awkward. I don't understand why they don't just do this for you. Alright. I guess that's one time snap, but it didn't fucking snap. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I definitely think it's a secondary company making these ultra lines because this is just weird. Just make it a detachable magazine if you're going to do this. Why did they do this? I'm glad you guys can see this. This is just ridiculous. Literally, I can see what you've got to do, but it won't do it. Alright, that goes in. It doesn't go in. No, doesn't go in on the other side and it goes one there's two clips on here and only one clip goes in. So that's a good start. This is just terrible. I don't even understand how this goes together. Kids toy, eh? So it slots in when it wants to. So that's one. Hopefully this should be easier now I've done the one. Of course it isn't. <laughs> Need like black magic to do this. So this is why people tune into my videos to watch me fail. I love how they call it a one-time snap. One-time snap your fucking hand off, all right. It says on there to push all the darts in, if any of you are still watching. Don't push them in halfway, it's kind of obvious.
could have put that in the instruction manual rather than a sticker on the gun. the drum it holds 25 apparently um, definitely think it could have been just a magazine instead and there's the darts little side comparison to a nerf elite so a bit stubbier a bit shorter has the fins The head is actually a little bit longer too, if you compare, if you line them up, you can see. Um, still just as soft, <coughs> doesn't seem to be any weight difference, this seems to be actually lighter. This uses uh, a different type of foam, it says it on the box, it also comes with a dart as well, I forgot to say about that, but it says um, powerful speed, extreme distance, pinpoint accuracy, innovative flight tip, lightweight foam and aerofin technology. But it uses like a different type of foam, looks more like a, looks like more crushed together, you kind of can't squeeze it as much I don't think. Um, I think if you like stood on this it would crush it and break it. Um, it doesn't actually say anything else if you look on the, uh, the box of them too. That's it. Uh, the box, you only get a box of 20, so it's like a box of shells. So you get the storage, so we'll put some on here just to see. Holds them quite nice. It's always good. It has a little space for the, uh, the back part. Now this is comparable to the the gyro jet it kind of reminds me of the gyro jet ammo, um, and there's a there is something that they made that's like the gyro jet pistol. So I will be doing a review on that and talking about that too. Let's see, and now the batteries. So just a normal screwdriver looks like it's needed. The camera decided to adjust itself, but that's okay. Stand up now. Now it's adjusted itself, I'll just stand up. Yeah, you definitely need a long reach screwdriver, you don't want a little one because it goes quite far in. They don't say that on the box though, do they? They should say about how fucking deep these fucking screw holes are. And they're really tight. They use the fucking machine. If this gun isn't waterproof I'll be shocked because these screws are mental. As a spring, there we go. <laughs> Tray of four, uses four, at least it doesn't use eight, like the old school ones, but still. Um, I noticed more of the other Nerf guns have been using double A's. These are D, uh, C batteries, not D, so uh, yeah, D batteries, there seem to be more of them around than C ones for some reason. Probably using the cheapest ones I could find. These are from Audi. They look cheaper. Look like the cow man.
so that adds a, a significant amount of weight to it as well. Maybe that's why they put it in the, the grip rather than the hand guard, front guard. So you just make sure they're pushed in all the way. They already want to push themselves out. Yeah, you can see how long those screws are. Those screws don't play around. Okay, you make sure you put it in the right way. Be careful to not let the batteries fall out because they seem to want to. Now it looks like you have to tighten this all the way with both screws to activate it because it has some sort of spring inside. That might have been why it was so tight already. Okay, so that's in. It should be working. The actual look of this gun looks really cool. It's like something out of um about Borderlands Borderlands or um Destiny, I'd say. So the tray doesn't have any type of typical way to put them in. I think you can just shove them in and it lines itself up. They fit in there really nicely too. It's like just the right amount of tension. They're not too tight, not too like soft to push them in. Hopefully none of them will get stuck in there. That's the main thing, and that's why it needs to be like that. So you can load this by holding it in one hand, I think. I'm just pushing it in like this. You only get uh, four on each side, storage. So it's basically just enough for one side of this. So it holds 25, but only comes with 22 darts. So they obviously have a counting error as well in their factory because they've missed two darts out. I've never had that. They usually get extras. So that's one problem already. I haven't lost it. Oh, there you go. I have lost two. There's one. I don't know how I would have lost any because I didn't. <laughs> the packet was just got one hole in it. I see one anyway. Maybe they did miscount one, because I don't see the other one. There's no way I would have lost that one. Yeah, they have as well. So I wasn't wrong, because there is... Oh, there is one missing. In the fucking packaging, isn't there? <laughs> well, they still could have given you an extra one. That still could have been an extra one. There's the last one that I lost. Lost. Yeah. Right. Let's put this back in here. Okay, so it's ready to go. Now I'm going to try and shoot it. That's cool there. Yeah. Shoots one at a time. Shoots really hard and fast. Hard and fast. 
literally they're going like five meters, six meters away, and they're hitting the wall and bouncing straight back. Um, I noticed there's two rails on the front, so you probably could put a, a scope on this as well. The Nerf ones. Pretty accurate too. And I do have a lot of accessories that have the same colour scheme as this, so it's not too bad. I, I think it would have been better if it was full auto. Um, it's got an interesting trigger, but it's not sort of the best um, trigger I've seen. It's a little bit stiff. And um, yeah. Not too bad of a gun, I think for the, the price it's not too bad, I think you could probably get a good, quite a good range of this. It's quite good, so I'd rate it a, a 4 out of 5. Um, the only downside is probably that it's not full auto and the, the trigger's quite stiff and long. And obviously there's not a rail on the, the handguard too. But um, other than that it's pretty cool. And obviously the paint scheme, they need to work on that, they need to do it on both sides. So um, yeah, other than that it's quite cool there. So thanks for watching guys, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.